This is verse 11 of the 13th chapter, Gospel of Matthew. The disciples have just asked Jesus why he speaks to the crowds in parables. And uh, in that connection, Jesus gives the uh, following response. So, so we have, ho, oh, this is uh, the article, but it can, in fact, stand as the subject of the verb, and that's the way it's used here. So he is the way we'd render it, uh, but he, post positive, duh. Apocryphes, from Apocrinomai, I answered, or I answer, it's a, 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 a participle here, aorist passive participle, a masculine, singular, nominative, so he having answered is the idea, part, aorist participle, uh, apen, so uh, he answered and said to them, apen from lego, I say, third person singular, aorist active indicative. Uh, this is idiomatic, it doesn't uh, translate all that well, but it would be something like, having answered, he said. Uh, usually it's taken as uh, the idea of, uh, of simply restating the same idea, he answering them said. Uh, this is a common formula, of course, in the New Testament, but uh, never translated quite as literally as it reads here. So having answered, he said, autois, this is the dative, masculine, plural, he said to them. Uh, Apocrinomai takes the dative, so that's expected here. Hoti can mean either that or because. It's been traditionally rendered as because. So uh, Jesus is responding to the question, why do you teach this way? Well, it's because of this. However, uh, more recent uh, views of this have, have preferred to see this as, as the word that, which is used customarily in Greek to introduce a direct quote, and that may be better. Jesus isn't really giving a because kind of response here, but simply an instructive point. So he says, um, quote, you might say, uh, who men, to you, this is the second person dative plural pronoun, to you, dedotai, from didomi, uh, I give, this is a third person singular, perfect, passive, indicative. So it's uh, to you, it has been given. It's given and remains given. It's the perfect here. Uh, to you it's been given, presumably referring to these disciples now to have some insight in connection with the kingdom, which is not going to be as readily uh, uh, disseminated to, uh, to everyone at this point. To you it is given, geno, uh, genonai, from genosko, uh, to know, this is the uh, uh, infinitive, aorist active infinitive, so to you it is given to know, Ta musteria, in the plural, the mysteries, uh, given to know the uh, mysteries, tes basileus, of the kingdom. So uh, these are being given insight, uh, which is not going to be readily disclosed yet. There is a kind of uh, uh, waiting here that's taking place. The disclosure of the character of the kingdom to these who are the disciples is preceding uh, what's going to be made known later. Uh, so to them it is uh, given to know the mysteries of the kingdom, tone or known of the heavens, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, it's going to come in a way that was not uh, readily uh, understood or anticipated. They were, of course, in the first century looking for a political deliverer, another David to come along and throw out the Philistines, as it were, in this case the Romans. And obviously the kingdom Jesus had in mind was um, uh, very different from that. Uh, Akenois, uh, so to you, but not to them, is the notion. This is the demonstrative pronoun, in the masculine dative plural. But to you, de post positive, but to you, u dedotai, same as we have here. It is not given. So at this point, uh, you are the ones who are receiving this information, this mystery of the kingdom, which may be related to the mystery as Paul makes famous in his writings, Ephesians especially, and elsewhere that uh, the kingdom was going to be a cosmic kingdom. Jesus would extend his rule, not simply to uh, Israel, but uh, way beyond that to the entire uh, world. And uh, that may be part of what Jesus has in mind. But beyond that, the fact that the kingdom is not uh, particularly political directly, it has political implications for sure, but that it uh, has a much more profound uh, character to it. All of that is uh, at least uh, apparently packaged in what Jesus says here in response to this uh, query.